So far, we've shown how to translate Mentor Expedition layouts to ANSYS tools. In this video, we'll look at Mentor Pads as the layout tool and show how to translate ECAD geometry from it to ANSYS SI Wave, HFSS 3D layout, and Space Claim. Open the Mentor Pads printed circuit board layout application. This is version VX.1. From the File menu, let's open a Pads layout design. Change the filter type to Layout Files with the extension .pcb. I'll select this Pads Professional Layout Design file. Press Open to load this design in Pads Layout. In the Project Explorer window, expand all the electrical layers. There are six electrical layers. Also expand the general layers. From the Setup menu, select the Layer Definition option. This opens the Layers Setup window. Here, select the Thickness button. The thicknesses for each of the layers are specified. You can see the unit of measure is mils. If you want to see the copper thickness by ounces per square foot, use the Weight option. Now let's close these dialogs. To generate the ODB++ file, go to the File menu and select the Export option. From the Save as Type list, select the odb++.tgz. Rename the file to something meaningful. Save the tgz file. This will cause the ODB++ export dialog to appear automatically. You can choose the desired output format. I've set it to ODB++ V8. Make sure the Unhatched Copper Pores option is set to Fill. This will flood all the copper pores and planes prior to translation. For pins with or without pad shape definitions, I'll select the Prefer Drill option to use the drill shape instead of the pin pad shape. From the Export Action list, I'll select Export Only. When you press OK, the conversion process to the ODB++ format begins, and the TGZ file is created in the same location where the design exists. If you want to see the report file, click Yes. This report alerts you about any issues with your printed circuit board. For example, a couple of nets are broken or shorted in this board. For now, we'll ignore these messages and proceed with the next step of importing this ODB++ database to ANSYS SI Wave. Open ANSYS SI Wave. From the Import tab, click ODB++. The Import ODB++ Design dialog appears. Since PADS exports a TGZ file, pick File as the ODB++ Archive type. Browse to the folder where you have stored the ODB++ file. Select the TGZ file and press Open. Now click Import. The Select Nets to Import from PCB dialog appears. You can see the net names have been retained, since we unchecked the Neutralize option when we exported the ODB++ from PADS. There are 320 nets to import. We'll import all of them. The design appears in ANSYS SI Wave along with the workflow wizard. Close this wizard. Fill all the layers. Make all the vias, planes, pads, traces, and components visible. From the Home tab, select the Layer Stackup Editor. We'll change the units from millimeters to mils and select the Copper Weight checkbox. Let's compare the stackup layers for both the products. You can see the thickness of the metal layers, or the copper thicknesses, are comparable. It's 0.74 ounces in pads and 0.75 ounces in SI Wave. To understand the translation of the dielectric layers, let's dig into the ODB++ database. Under the ODB directory, open the folders Steps, PCB, and Layers. You can view the contents of the Attribute List file of the corresponding dielectric layer in a text editor. A parameter .layer dielectric is defined. It's 0 .007 inches, or 7 mils, for the solder mask layer. For all the other dielectric layers, the same parameter has the value 0. You can see the top solder mask dielectric layer is 7 mils in both SI Wave and pads. For all the other dielectric layers, the translator is setting the thickness of these 0 thickness layers to a default value of 10 microns, or 0.393 mils. If you find that data has been omitted from the ODB++ export as it was here, you can easily edit the stack up an SI wave to correct it. We can see that the available data has been translated accurately. As we step through the resistor folders and check the properties window, we can see that they have distinct values. 
This is because the attribute file of the components in the ODB++ database has a distinct property field called value, explicitly defined for each of the components in this board. Therefore, SIWave reads in the values in this field for each of the components. Clearly, the translation of this PCB from MentorPads to ANSYS SIWave is accurate. For translating to ANSYS HFSS 3D Layout, go to the File menu and select Import ODB++. Select the layers you want to import. Click OK. The design appears in 3D Layout. Open the Edit Layers window. The copper weight of 0.741 ounces is converted to mils, yielding a thickness of 1.0374 mils for each signal layer in HFSS 3D Layout. If you step through the components, for example the resistors, you can see that they have the expected values. Finally, to import the ODB++ database into SpaceClaim, simply drag and drop the TGZ file into the SpaceClaim application, and the geometry appears in its simplified form. This concludes this demonstration.